Ian, it's a miserable day and it's a miserable result. How are you feeling after that? Um, I've had better, better weekends, really. Um, but in the day, as I said, to you it's been a tough, it's been a tough last eight, nine days. So it's um, it's something we've got to take on the chin. And the most important thing that all the players have come through unscathed. Um, and as I say, it's difficult when you've had seven players with COVID. So we've got to make sure that you know they they recover correctly. Um, I just felt that it was just a little bit off the pace today in terms of the of the set pieces we got undone on one or two. Michael has been off for 10 days. I felt could have done better with two of the goals. And Zane, you've played in quite a number of derbies for this club. How disappointing is it when you lose one like that? Yeah, it's very disappointing. Just by like, the manner of the way we conceded the goals. Like, we basically gave the goals to them. And I don't think we can just blame it on just the defenders because the spell before the goal, we had dropped completely as a team. We weren't pressuring the ball. I don't know whether as people getting their second wins or not, but the goals were just too easy. And we did actually play some good pastures of football today and in the second half created a lot of chances. But you're not going to give yourself a lot of chance when we've conceded two goals like that in the first half. So, yeah. And Ian, the old saying is obviously form goes out the window in the derby, but are games like this a difference between getting into the playoffs and not? I think you. I think talking about the playoffs at this stage of the season, Will, is, is crazy. We've got 25 games to go. Um, we've just come back from uh, not training for a week. Um, seven players go down with COVID. And uh, as I say, I, I, it's the least of my problems at the moment is worrying about the playoffs. I've got to worry about getting these players back to full fitness as quickly as we can. We've got to worry about getting players like Mitchell Vice, who's been still nursing a knee, to get him back as fitness as quick as we can. We need to get Michael Johnson back to plan how he was six weeks ago as quick as we can. Um, so really, at the moment, the playoffs are really as, as far as away as it can be in my mind. Um, but you know, I worry about that in, in, on the 7th of May. And Zane, it's not a great day. It's a day after New Year's Day, but still we had 2,500 plus in here to support you. Even though we didn't win, how important is it to know that you've got that many people behind you? Yeah, it's massive. Like, I think all the boys like really, really appreciate it. Um, and obviously we've we've got them behind us throughout the season. We've given them quite a lot to cheer about, but obviously, unfortunately today, it's just a shame that we have to walk off the pitch and concede goals like that and basically give ourselves a mountain to climb in, in the second half, especially when they've come out in numbers like this to support us. But yes, it's, it's brilliant and I'm sure it'll, it'll pay well going into the second half of the season with them behind us. And Ian, just finally, how important is it, this game against Welling on Saturday, that we go there and get results? Every game's important, Will. Um, every game, every week is important. You know, first thing is we've got to try and get some more um, training into the players this week. We've got two sessions, Tuesday and Thursday. And then we've got to pick up the, the season, as I said to you. And I, you know, don't make any bones or any lies about it. I don't think our performances have been to the level um, they was prior to the to the Forest Green game. I think uh, levels have dropped off a little bit. Um, whether there is a touch of tiredness in it, whether we maybe have to bring some fresh faces in, or whether we have to um, get back on the training field. I don't know, there's lots of things to look at after what I've seen today in terms of the goals we've conceded. I feel some of the passages of play, especially in the second half, were very good. But if you can see goals like that, you're not going to win many games. Michael probably hasn't had many saves to make today, um, but they still could have had four or five through some of the mistakes that we made.